Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 7th, 2023. Well, how about we take a look at what happened last night first before we get cranking here. First off, we had Asian markets that finished lower across the board last night. In fact, almost a complete reversal of the day before. The Nikkei ended up down 1.76% or $587. Yesterday, they were up just about that same amount, just a little bit stronger to the upside yesterday. And Hong Kong also reversed. I think it was up 0.78% yesterday. It closed down 0.71%. After um, Moody's did some downgrading of Hong Kong banks and slashing some Chinese stocks. And then, of course, uh, China had um, some trade data that just didn't overcome the uh, downtrend that has been occurring in their trade. The only thing that remained consistent was Shanghai going a little bit lower, only down 273 um, uh, or, or two points, 2.73 points, and um, staying pretty negative there. Let's take a look at European markets here this morning. They're down across the board, but modestly so. Nothing major in there. Seeing a little bit of pressure here this morning as uh, Air France KLM uh, being down 5.5%. Uh, Let's take a look at U.S. markets. U.S. markets have been fluctuating around the flat line. Dow is probably the most bearish at the moment, down 63 points. Um, S&P and um, NASDAQ are relatively flat. Oil this morning um, trying to move back up here just a little bit. We've got oil trying to make a little bit of gain. And we've got bond yields here this morning. Well, they're just kind of hanging in. Nothing nothing much is changing here. We do have the 10-year down around 4.15. So that is a little bit more of a decline there on that 10-year from yesterday. But well, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Nothing major happening there just yet. Let's take a look at some at um, our markets here today but how about we just settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the thursday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here i do very much appreciate it let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today try to come at it with a well with shake off a little bit of bias here first off if we take a look at the diamonds yesterday um, kind of surprising day after our data was relatively good for the market but we have this concern starting to happen is that jobs are starting to show some pressure and i think the industry itself kind of thought that was going to be impervious that there was not going to be any decline in jobs as we continue to slow the economy but i think what we're starting to learn is that's not the case and um, as we take a look at what happened yesterday nice little pop-up yesterday pulling back leaving a bit of a bearish engulfing candle there challenging this trend but overall there's nothing wrong with this we're just in a consolidation notice that although we did break down we really didn't break any support here in that chart we've got just a little tiny bearishness in it here this morning so if the bears were to uh, follow through and um, try to get something going here today then let's look for a break of that low of this candle right here see if they can push down below that that's been serving kind of as support in here and if it does then let's look for a push on back down you can see there is a little teeny tiny bit of support that goes all the way back over here to 2022 we could push down into this level of the chart now pushing further than that it's going to get a little bit painful remember these were big huge days of growth in the market so we would be looking at five six hundred minimum um um, to a breakdown um, below this level um, it would be um, pretty painful but if that were to occur we've got some support in there to hold us so keep an eye on this area here and that trend that I drew all the way across here could 
serve as a little bit of price support in the chart. Now, if the bulls can find inspiration here today, and there's reason that they might, we might push up off of here. Remember, we still got corporate buybacks going on, and that's been a huge amount of the support of this market. So if those bulls can follow on through and push on up, I would suggest that we might get back up here and try to test this resistance level in the chart that goes all the way back over there to 2021 and 2022. So keep an eye on that as we're trying hard, desperately hard to break out here on the diamonds. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, also a little bit of bearishness in there yesterday, but overall nothing terrible. Um, bearish engulfing candle, remember that's going to require follow through to confirm that. But if you take a look across here, what we're really doing is we're just consolidating in here. Now, albeit we're consolidating with a bit of volatility in here whipping back and forth. If the bears were to continue to find inspiration today and follow through on that bearish candle, then I would look for a test of this support in here to see if it holds. If that were to fail, then we start dropping down into this area of the chart. There's a little bit of support in here between uh, the top and bottom of those three little candles in there. Somewhere in that range is where we could go, and that would be fairly painful if we dropped into there and probably bring maybe just a little bit of concern or panic into the market. If the bulls are able to bounce back, um, then let's look for a retest of this resistance up here to see if we can break through this big level up here that we've been struggling with. We've banged our head against it several times. There's one time, two, three, four times, and we just haven't been able to break through that door just yet. So um, watch that closely. Um, uh, breaking through this level would likely send us right on up, and we would come into this level of price resistance up in here that was set in 2021 and 2022. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Now that QQQ also had a bit of a rough day, but it wasn't, it didn't turn out to be a bearish engulfing, more of a dark cloud cover. Now we do have just a little bit of additional concern in here. Yes, we're range bound between this range and this range, but what's significant about yesterday here is that actually constituted a potential lower high. So if the bears were to find inspiration today and push on down here in the queues, and you can see they're trying to pump up here in the pre-market, so that may not occur. But if they were to do that, we might look for this support area in here to break if that were the case. And then keep in mind, if that support breaks, we've got a um, gap in here that could easily get filled. And that would be a fairly painful pullback if that were to occur. Now, if the bulls say, nope, we're not going to, we're not going to allow that to pu push down through this level, we're going to push back up, then I would be watching this area up in here, the top of that candle, this new downtrend resistance here in the chart. And we'll notice we've got some price resistance right through here as well with all of that price action in here. So we've got a pretty heavy level in there right now to try and push through. But corporate buybacks could certainly do that if they really step up, particularly in big tech today. And then let's take a look at IWM. IWM pulling back and resting yesterday. Kind of a surprise. We pumped up hard here early on in the day and then just consistently faded throughout the day. So a bit of a bearish signal here, possible topping ham, uh, pattern in the chart. We'll want to watch that carefully. If the bears can continue to uh, find that push back down, well, I would suggest a push back into this level here to test some support. And if it holds there, I don't think there's any problem. If, if it holds in here, in fact, I think that could be a very healthy thing for the market to do. It's just kind of rest on out here to trend just a little bit and relax after such a big rally. But if they were to break down below that level here in the chart, well, as you can see, we might come all the way back down into this area here. So it could be rather painful on that pullback if that were to occur. If the bulls were to continue to find inspiration here, well, once again, I'm just going to keep saying that that test up here looks like the likely area in the 
the chart. Now you'll notice there is some price resistance right in here, but it's not major. Um, we may see the, it struggle trying to push back up through there after yesterday's kind of a bearish pattern. And maybe we're going to slip into more of a wide range consolidation on IWM. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX yesterday, well, we had a little bit of fear starting in there um, yesterday. Um, uh, but um, nothing major. You can see we started to pick up just a little tiny bit in here. We get this little teeny tiny uptrend in here. Uh, I'm not even going to call it that. It's more of a flat consolidation in here. It might be what you would call a flag, and that would potentially be um, a flag that we'll want to keep uh, watch uh, careful on. If we were to break down through here, then it turns out to be a flag on the bullish side because we would continue to see that fear drop out of the market. If that flag produces up here, it will turn out to be more of that bear flag trying to uh, push that fear back up. So keep an eye on that here today. Our uh, T2121 indicator, our T2122 did pull back nicely yesterday, relieving some of that pressure. Now, we at one point in the time when we spiked up first thing in the morning, T2122 spiked all the way back up here toward the 90% area of the chart. And then we ended up flattening out by the end of the day, pulled it all back, flattened out, and maybe just a slight tip to the downside. So we've still relieved a lot of that upside pressure. So if the bulls can find inspiration, well, we certainly have room uh, now for them to move to the upside if, if they find that good data out there to push us higher. If uh, by chance they find some of that uh, bad data to push us lower and the bears uh, become active, we certainly have plenty of downside opportunity left as well to relieve um, this really extended condition in the market. And then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also just a little bit lower yesterday, kind of flat, nothing major happened. Um, I don't see this as bearish at all yet. You, you'll notice that we still have that big upside trend. We've got some good support in here. We might just be relieving a little bit of pressure. Now, you will want to keep in mind if we do push higher, we're up here in this very frothy zone. So we cannot be all that surprised to see a little bit of pressure um, and possible pullback coming in the market. I've been suggesting it is um, uh, it could happen at any time and you can see maybe that potential we're beginning that move here now which is a little surprising just ahead of the the end of a cor of corporate buybacks but we'll we'll see maybe they corporate buybacks will spark that um, inspiration here today and we'll push that right back up and then our t2107 t2107 also pulling back yesterday now we did lose just a little tiny bit of support here at the end of the day. No particular uh, bad thing here because overall the trend is still up. If the bulls can come right back and we, I'd look for a pushback up to retest that area um, and if the bears were to continue well we might break this upside trend and come back down testing some supports in the chart. So I don't see that as anything bad unless we really get a big heavy move to the downside. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. T2101 shows us that little bit of a problem that we had yesterday with that breadth kind of hooking over. They couldn't really follow through on that breadth yesterday to the upside. It just kind of ran out of energy really fast. So um, what we want to see in here, if you're a bull, is we want to see that breadth continuing to expand to the upside. What we don't want to see if if you're a bull is that breath expanding to the upside and the sellers are in control. So watch that carefully here today. Um, it is possible we could continue to see that breath decline. Remember, we're coming into that end period where we're going to start going into the blackout period for corporate buybacks. So 
watch that carefully. It, it is possible we may be just in the beginning phases of that fade back in breadth as uh, corporate buybacks kind of wind down. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we do have a few things that we want to be paying attention to. It's going to be maybe a little bit of a busy morning here. We've got the Challenger job cut report we'll want to be keeping an eye out for. We've got jobless claims and that'll be it may be important today with the last two you know ADP and job openings report showing that decline we could actually see those claims spike up today so watch that carefully consensus at the moment is not suggesting anything major they're showing claims coming in at 222,000 so no particular worry there at least at the moment and then keeping in mind we've got um, natural gas report wholesale inventories report uh, we've got some bond auctions in here we're going to have consumer credit and fed balance sheet at the end of the day which nobody pays attention to apparently anymore and then we have uh, th um, the, the employment situation number coming in here on Friday so you'll want to keep that in mind that definitely is a market moving report has that potential to move us pretty substantially at times so watch carefully for that consumer sentiment and then the Baker Hughes word count on Friday let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today and our earnings calendar I'm just going to um, uh, pull the blog the blog starter sheet over here that I run because we're having some website problems here today so you can kind of take a screenshot of um, the notable report so right here I'll give you a few minutes to well a few seconds actually to <laughs> take a screenshot of that and I'm going to run through those really really quickly here this morning um, AVGO will probably be the um, most important or most notable um, today of being a supplier to Apple so watch that close we've been selling off here just a little bit we're losing a little support here in AVGO heading into that earnings report uh, DOOO will be reporting today uh, moving sharply lower obviously in its um, heading into earnings um, CIEN has been moving up toward its earnings keep an eye on that one COOP will be in there uh, copper um, uh, uh, just looking strong here um, um, in this uh, copper group so keep an eye on that showing lots of strength here heading into earnings on that one uh, DOCU DOCU will be reporting today popped up through this downtrend showing a nice little upside trend popped up through that downtrend we'll be waiting for that earnings report in here you will want to keep in mind we're coming into areas of resistance in the chart that we'll want to be watching carefully as we try to stretch on higher in that chart we've got a dollar general reporting today it looks like they've got a good report going on here this morning trying to push on through nice little pattern keep in mind we've got this gap above that could easily be filled in dollar general watch that one closely we've got uh, GMS that will be reporting been stretching a big time heading into its earnings report watch that carefully we've got a potential for another topping pattern here in that chart as it reports we've got Lulu that will be reporting today it has been very bullish here pushing up strongly um, so watch that carefully heading into its report SBWI will be reporting Smith & Wesson kind of stuck in an interesting pattern here where we're kind of running in those are the tops but we're trying to hold a flat bottom in here a little wedging pattern so watch that carefully as it reports and last but not least um, MTN will be reporting today so watch that one let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor 
that would be click that subscribe button um, uh, or um, click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps a channel to continue to grow thank you so much for everyone who does take the time to do that I really really appreciate it let's take a peek at some of these stocks setting up remember they're not recommendations to buy or sell any security do your own due diligence make sure it fits your rules and your risk tolerances never ever ever blindly follow anyone else's trade idea first off let's take a look at this SKLZ SKLZ it's been struggling in this area tried to pop yesterday couldn't really get anything going with that fade that we saw in the market fading back in here this morning trying to gap up so keep an eye on SKLZ it might be just enough to find that move on through to the upside and kind of push us up watch that one closely boy you know I gotta continue to mention uh, TLT we continue to see TLT stretching out here to the upside those bonds continuing to relieve now I expect this at any point in time at any point in time this is going to get some kind of a rest or pullback here in it it's unlikely that we just continue to zoom straight up but it can happen so watch that carefully we've seen it in the indexes here recently but watch this carefully and this will be really dependent on what continues to happen with the dollar you can see the dollar trying to firm up here just a little bit might be trying to hold a little bit of support in here on the chart so keep that in mind um, if the market starts to pull back then we might see that drag kind of everything down and, and may may drag um, TLT a little bit lower as well because I would expect bonds a little bit of fear to come up bond yields might come up a bit so watch that closely boy I think there is quite a move happening here in um, some of our old boring companies here uh, 3m making that break through this downtrend in here um, resting just a little bit and we're resting out toward this trend Boy, I would be watching 3m for that next opportunity to the upside here um, looking pretty good overall showing lots and lots of strength uh, Boeing made mention of Boeing in the prep yesterday nice little resting pattern it followed through today we are trying to challenge this all-time high excuse me not all-time high this major resistance here in the chart we're trying to challenge to see if we can break through there every reason to believe that's possible but we may also just continue this resting pattern back to trend here just a little bit so uh, give it some time watch that closely I saw Caterpillar making some moves yesterday popping through ended up leaving uh, you know a shooting star pattern in here but as long as it consolidates back or rest back and hold support in here after breaking that trend don't think I'd be too particularly worried about that if it just holds in there and I would be looking for that next opportunity for Caterpillar to roll on higher other defensive sector stocks I think it, I think it's worth keeping a close eye here on coke moved up in a nice trend we're just consolidating in this range right in here um, um, kind of matching this side looking for that inspiration to see whether we can pop on through up or if we are going to break back down and come back and test a little bit bit uh, deeper support here in the chart but watch that closely it, it could easily pop on through to the upside um, also if we take a look at um, stocks like KHC KHC been ripping to the upside we went from and we hated Kraft Heinz to all of a sudden it is looking good so um, nice dividend pair good defensive sector stock keep an eye on that you'll notice we're coming into some resistance area here that we'll want to be watching on KHC but any rest or pullback I think sets up more opportunity in there take a look at Colgate Palmolive it did finally get a rest yesterday pulling back um, trying to hold at least in the uh, yesterday trying to hold some support in here I would watch this carefully this is a fairly good resistance area here in the chart we may have to consolidate this for a while but again defensive sector old boring dividend payers look Looking pretty good overall um, in the market so I think it's worth keeping an eye on them uh, Mondelez 
um, also resting in a nice little congestion area here of the chart. Um, just resting back, a good strong, strong dividend pair looking good in here. Take a look at Verizon. Verizon's been moving up. Talk about strong on dividends. Um, breaking through the downtrend, just continuing to um, lift to the upside looking very good in here uh, this little consolidation that we've got going on in, in here there's every reason to believe that we might find that trend right in here and continue to move on through on verizon and then of course at&t as well at&t has that potential uh to continue to move it did pop um hard yesterday and probably needs well i'm not gonna say probably it a normal price action move in, in a stock like this is not straight up. So probably needs some rest or consolidation in here, but I'd watch that carefully here. AT&T been showing some pretty good signs. Uh, if we take a look at some retail out there, boy, we got hit hard here um, just recently in uh, KSS. We found some resistance in this chart, backed away hard. So now any rally back up here sets up that opportunity for a short. You'll wanna watch that closely. Walmart has also, um, had some struggle in here and we put in a little bit of a lower high yesterday in Walmart that potential that Walmart could start moving on lower I keep a close eye on theirs on that um, one that hasn't shown any signs of pulling back just yet but we're pushing into some um, um, all-time high resistance here is Costco keep an eye on that as we struggle in here to try and pop through if the market were to get soft all of a sudden we might see that backing away from that resistance if those corporate buybacks continue to provide that inspiration every reason to believe would pop on through and then we'll see if we can hold up in that area of the chart so watch that closely and then of course um boy you can't go wrong right now in mickey d's um just a beautiful um, concise price action move to the upside. It's very stable. It's very clean. Uh, um, I would watch uh, this area here now that we've broken out. We're sliding over here to trend Look for that next opportunity here at Mickey D's to continue to stretch on higher. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. And I'll see you right back here bright and early first thing tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone.